Okay, so we opened up three, so yes, uh, three Photoshop. This is the more advanced Photoshop you can, you will be working in. Um, the setup is just a little different. Um, here, let's see. I'll open it this way, so you can kind of see. So you can see the tools here are kind of the same. There's a couple new tools here that I'll be telling you about. Um, there's not these big redo buttons and undo buttons up here because uh, there's just going to be shortcuts you're going to have to use in that. Um, effects in that are no longer just out in the open here. You have to go and find them, which may, it's just more advanced. And um, yeah, you just got to really know what you're doing to get into here. I find it quite easy to use. You should too soon. So once again, you're just going to go File New. And that's how you do every Photoshop pixel. Just change it to anything you want. Just just for this tutorial. And once again, you're going to change this to pixels per inch. <clears throat> okay, so then you can just make that bigger. So uh, let's start from the left this time. Um, you got your tools over here on the left. You got your move. You got your rectangle marquee. You got your lasso. You got your quick selection. You got your crop tool, you got your splice slice tool, excuse me there. Uh, you got your spot healing brush, you have your brush tool, you have your clone stamp tool, you have your history brush tool, you have your eraser tool, you have your gradient tool, you have your blur tool, you have your dodge tool, you have your pen tool, I love this pen tool, uh, you have your type tool, you have your path, tool, you have your rectangle tool, which is also all these other tools here, as well as some of these here. You have your, well, you don't really use that a lot, actually. That's not needed. Uh, you have your eyedropper tool, which again, change your color. Your hand, your zoom, and of course your colors. So, what you're going to do now, um, there's just drop downs for each one just like there was before most of them are the same drop downs as before except like you see the red eye here it's not out here it's in a drop down you gotta find um you gotta like you just gotta look around more for things it just that's what's I guess it's harder the paint bucket tool is no longer out here you gotta go and find it underneath the gradient tool which you'll be using a lot um, you got your blur and your smudge and all that, and your sharpen here under the same drop downs as before. You got your burn, sponge, and dodge as before. Um, your pen tool is a new tool. Just a cool way you can create cool shapes, whatever you want. Just different things like that. Um, you got your text tool. Uh, you click down there. You got your vertical text tool. So say you want to write going down here, you just... So you can do it like that. Um, so that's your text tool there. Whoops. Okay. So then you got, well, you got everything basically you need to make a great Photoshop image, whatever you're making. Um, so we're gonna go up to the top. Everything here is basically the same, except for analysis, but you don't really use that at all. So edit, and this is how you're gonna be. Um, before in Elements here, there's this, there's this big undo button to undo or redo something in CS3 Photoshop. You're gonna have to go to Edit and Undo, or you can do Control Z. Um, you can also do Control Alt Z, which is what I do mainly because um, Control Z you can only go back one step. Um, control alt Z. you can go back multiple steps. So yeah. Um, you can just goof around with here, say I wanna just rotate something, or image, um, your adjustments are in here, filters, you got basically all your filter, uh, your effects you have here, and in here, are all stashed in this little filter thing here. 
they're not they don't show pictures anymore you just gotta kind of know what you're looking for if you're looking for a blur then you add a blur um if you're looking to add a, let's just say a lens flare then you add a lens flare um <clears throat> so over here you have um all these different things here um you got just different presets, actions, uh, history, different brushes you can use. Like also you can also just click on the brush tool here and drop down and it shows you all these different tools, different cool things. So you want to make some grass. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to go take a nice greenish color, something a little grassy, something like that. See, look, I just create some grass. See, I just creating some nice grass here. Woo so, yeah. Um, you can also, uh, over here, you can just, uh, you can change the way you want your, your, uh, stuff to look like. Like, see here, I'm gonna create a normal ver horizontal type. And I'm just going to make it just a bit bigger. So see how there's space in between here. Say you want them really, really close together. You just go minus 75. And you see it moved it closer. See? So yeah, there's just different things here you can fool around with. Um, there's colors you can change in here. you got swatches. There's different preset colors that you can choose, which automatically go down to... Um, down over here in your color palette <clears throat> you can also there's different styles like um, let's choose this one here you can see it's kind of a weirdish style there's just all these different ones here you can use and everything it's just different ones um, you can also uh, for adding a new layer it's basically the same down below here same with a mask so now you can actually add layer styles to it. so by uh, going to here and adding a layer style you choose which one I'm gonna choose bevel and emboss and then what you can do is um, it shows you a little preview right here of what you're making so I'm gonna make it five um, I'm gonna make depth I'm gonna add a little more depth to it so that looks pretty good for now. I'm gonna add a drop shadow and an inner shadow. Just a size. I'm gonna make it five. So as you can see here, it kind of made that nice, um, almost 3D looking type uh, bevel to it. So um, <clears throat> another way to get to those things is you just double click on your layer and they'll automatically pop up um... you can also still add your uh... adjustment layers and everything you want to you can still drag down here and throw things in the trash if you want um... to save uh... <coughs> your work um, it depends on what you either your teacher or your employer or whoever you're making this for or if it's just for yourself um, when you're saving it you can go save as and what I always like to do just personally because it's just me um, <clears throat> I always uh, you're gonna need to pit well for if you're in a school I know they usually um, want you to save it in a special drive or something so to get there you'd go computer and then you'd have it here and it would say um, public and then you'd go to from public to your teacher I'm just gonna give it uh, and then yeah so I like I'm just gonna save this as hello because I've been doing that for everything and then I'm gonna choose where I want to save it and then what you're gonna do is it's saved as a PSD right now and a PSD is a Photoshop document, hint PSD. So you can save it like that, 
which is what I always do. And then you're going to go and you're going to go save as again. And say you're not done working on that project, then you don't have to do this step. If you're done working on your project and you want to save a good final image, you're also going to click this little drop down here where it says format. You're going to go down to where it says JPEG. And now what a JPEG is, is it's basically any picture you see on the internet is always a JPEG or a PNG, but they're mainly JPEGs. So you just .jpeg, you save it, you're going to, I like going maximum, dragging that all the way just because I like really high quality, high quality crisp images. So it really just your personal preference or what your teacher or whoever you're making this image for would like you to save it as. So let's save that, and you can go find it here in your documents. And see, mine's right here. Here's my JPEG image I made. And then also, I have my Photoshop document right here, named Hello. And then, uh, so yeah, that's the basics of Photoshop CS3 Extended and Photoshop Elements 10. Um, if you have any questions, please just let me know and I'll help you out right away. So have a great day.